I think I absolutely inhaled it. Inhaled it. It's really kind of disgusting looking if you look at the water here, but I think that's from all the runoff from all of the, this is all gonna be homes as far as the eye can see in here. You can't build enough homes around here right now they're making a fortune. So everything is about, oh, let's see that big push right there where I would just cast it over. Brand new rod and reel from Castaway. Shimano CI4, I mean, there's nothing better than that in my opinion. That's what this is too, but this is old trusty. This is the one you guys hear me talk about. I'd rather see an alligator than a snake. Okay. I'm trying not to cast so hard and trying to be a little bit slower in my presentation right now with this frog. I'm thinking maybe I beat it up too much. Couldn't ask for other than that motorcycle. You couldn't ask for a more quiet, beautiful afternoon or evening here in Florida. It's not crazy hot out. I might be sweating a little bit but because I'm fat, but exclude that, it's a beautiful night. It's probably 80 degrees. 
my first time out here. You know, it's not like I'm gonna get dialed in on the first time because I'm not a pro. I know I have a buddy that's just got it dialed in on the, the Harris chain and it's just ridiculous how good this guy does. The frog looks great in the water. I mean, this little frog is, is pretty good. Down here, I mean, look at that. Did you see that thing? I don't think I could get there, but that's, that's a bass for sure. Just gorging on things. Oh, I can get there. Let's see what happens here. There's one. Oh no. He's in the He's flat that in there. I don't know if I have him still. Oh, I might have him. Oh my gosh, is that possible? No. So you might notice that when I set, when I hit, got that bite there, I didn't set the hook instantly. One of the problems with frog fishing is, as I snagged the one branch tree in there, one of the things with frog fishing is they need to, they need to bite the bait. So you need to, you need to count to two is what I've always been, what I have been taught. I've asked pros about it. I've asked friends about it that like fishing frogs. It's a two count and then set the hook. So that's what I did there, and that's what I did on the first one. It's the hardest thing to do is to not just jam it and rip it out of their face, but they need to inhale it. They need to get it in their gulls before you set the hook. So the key is two seconds, and uh, I kind of mentally count to two, and then it set the hook. I think I'm gonna get snagged here. trying just to come through some of this heavier stuff and just be real slow with it. Right on the edges there. I get a bite here and I'm, you know, I'm in trouble. Not a big one, but he wanted that frog, I can tell you that. Holy cow, I have never seen a bass that black in my... Oh crap, I got it stuck on my GoPro. I've never seen a bass that... like that in my life. Look at its tail. Look at that. Is that the weirdest bass you've ever seen in your life? Look at its tail. I hope that's coming out on the GoPro. Right there. 
at least that one's just a small one. Look how black these fish are. It's unbelievable. Look how red those gills are though. They're smalls, but they're fun. They're smalls, but they want it. Gotta be joking me. <sighs> How many have I missed tonight? How many is that? We can't end on one that we missed. It's against the rules, I think. It's all about a slow presentation. I don't think I've ever seen anything slower. They want it just to, to push and to sit, and then push and then sit. And they, wanna, they must be looking at it and then going, okay, it's leaving me, I need to grab it. And that's what they're doing. He just hit it out of the water. He, at, that fish actually hit the bait and it ran over to the side. That's how bad he hit it and missed it. God, I missed it that time. He wasn't getting away that one. Look how black these fish are. These don't even look like bass to me. These are mutant fish. <laughs> look at what did it. There it is. That thing. It's that thing you do. Great day on a frog, I can tell you that. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe, click that like button and the notification button and leave us a comment. Why? We, we give you free tackle. If you email us at info at fishingfloridaradio, info at fishingfloridaradio.com, we're gonna put you on our prize pack list. If you would prefer, you can go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash fishingflorida and private message us. Private message us here on YouTube. Tell us what you think. Hopefully we're doing a good job. We're trying to put out content that's informative and maybe 
entertaining. You're going to see the ups and downs of real fishing from the shore, from the boat, and all that other stuff. But we need you to subscribe. So do that. Hook us up. Help us out. And you want to know we're going to hook you up. There it is. I couldn't ask for a better place. I really couldn't. I mean, I had to get wet and take my shoes off, but I can man up every now and then. We appreciate you guys watching. Of course, take a kid fishing and get your fish on. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you soon.